The mantra of the environmental justice movement is that we speak for ourselves. Environmental justice is something that everybody is entitled to. It's a right. It's a constant movement for healthiness, for a clean environment, for people living longer and happier. Certain communities are targeted for pollution and do not receive environmental benefits. Those communities are generally communities of color and low income around this country. So environmental justice is the fair and equal treatment of all people in all communities. The environment is in our neighborhoods where we live, work, play, and go to school for the past 28 years. We Act has worked with community residents to engage in environmental decision making that affects their community. The bus depot has been here since like 1930s. We had buses that were what, hanging around and yeah, just, just, idling. just idling. Diesel is a known carcinogen. It exacerbates asthma, heart disease. And I want to live to a ripe old age. The bus depots in northern Manhattan was a prime example of environmental racism that these communities were targeted. The task force came together for one purpose, and that was to make sure that if they were going to build another bus depot in this neighborhood, it was going to be done right, or we weren't going to let it happen at all. Everybody got on board, and we pushed the MTA to do all these good things for us. We were able to get the MTA to invest in compressed natural gas buses, and then in hybrid buses. When they idle the actual buses inside, it goes into a particular piece of equipment. It just purifies it a little bit. Yeah. If it wasn't for WEAC, we wouldn't have known all of this. Now every city bus is cleaned up. Every community resident in this city is benefiting. We control what happens to our community. There you go. And that's the best part about it. We are very involved in indoor air quality, and so that takes us into the homes of many neighborhood residents in New York City Housing Authority buildings, what we call public housing. We moved to the apartment from hell. Brown and green spots all over the ceiling and going down the walls in the bathroom. That's dangerous for your health. The New York City Housing Authority spends a lot of time patching up problems but not correcting the problems. You can't simply paint over mold. You really have to go to the cause of the moisture. This became something that was normal to us. My younger daughter, she said, all I've ever known is a moldy bathroom. We act, they said, there's no way you should continue living like this. They put us in touch with NYSHA. NYSHA, they knocked out each wall. They remediated the mold. The mold is not totally eradicated, but it's near there. We act helped me achieve a healthier home. They advocated for me. They were our voice. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We're going up to Albany to fight for justice. So to really make a change in people's lives, we really have to change policy and practice. And so we've been organizing our members to go to Albany to educate our elected officials. I have lived in Harlem almost my whole life. I'm learning more in WEACT than I thought I came in with, believe me. Hoy vengo más que todo para dejarle un futuro mejor a mi sobrino y a los niños después de él y lo traigo para que él aprenda también. If we fight against global warming, it's going to help all the countries around the world. We need to take action now before he gets too late. So as we look ahead, creating climate resilience throughout vulnerable communities is our real challenge. Whether it's storm surge, sea level rise, extreme heat events, and we are working to ensure that our community is ready to meet that challenge. And so we've developed a number of community planning sessions with over 400 community residents and our members to hear what those challenges are and how they think those challenges need to be addressed. 
and we've now developed a series of policies to have real climate resilience. The environment is not about simply saving trees and polar bears, while that is extremely important that we save all of our ecosystems. But we also have to realize that there is a human ecosystem as well and that we must live together in harmony.